I'm doing a quick tutorial for NPR strats and how to use version 1.2.3.0 so first I'm gonna go in the config so as you can see so it's for all menus there is no menu warp so if you want to go down you have to scroll all the way down you can just press up or down and or to the other side then you need the pause and cancel key so you bind both to the same key you need to do that with the save files which are like in steam steam apps etc and you just bind in in there you also need to this is not required but it's way better to have like confirm jump and up to the same key to do 5d skip way easier so if you have a return to map button you can use it and just bind jump to it so to make it easier if you don't have a return to map button just choose a key and make it it's also good to have a quick restart to use follow cuts and skip and also if you never played 1.3.1.2 if you're not using arrow keys on keyboard you need to use either auto add key for keyboard players or joy 2 key for controller players if you want a demo button if you don't know how to do that just watch programmatic any person tutorial it explains it pretty well but that's basically it for the config also if you want your run to be valid you you need to show version number because NPR is basically if you were playing like timer blind as you can see there is no version number on the bottom so to get your run valid after you show pie screen just go to the title screen and it's good but now for the strats so I'm gonna start with 5d skip and explain a bit in the storage so uh, Mini storage is pretty like it's really easy to do if you have Z bind. So you just go in any soft menu, so either options, restore chapter, and return to map. So you go in the soft menu and then you just press your bind and the menu is on your screen while you have control of Madeline. So you lose it if you go in any transition. So only do mini storage once you're in the room that you want to go in. But basically for 5b, so once you come here, you just go in this room. Take this transition. And then you're gonna get mini storage here. So you scroll to restart chapter. Get in this soft menu. Then press mini storage. And then you press like your jump up confirm. So it does all of this on the same frame. So it's save and quit and jump in the transition. Like not at the same frame, but at the same time. It's pretty tight to do if you don't have the bind. Then you just go back in your save, dash right, and you're here. So from here you can just do a reverse and exit. So I'm gonna show it again. So you come here, you go in this room, in this one. Restart chapter, mini storage, pause, jump, confirm, reload, dash right, dash left, get a reverse, and you skip like 15 seconds of 5b. Then the other relevant one is prolog cuts and skip. So this one too is really easy to do. This 5b skip is the more input heavy one. And the other one are really easy. I mean, 5B skip also is easy, but it's a bit more input heavy than this one. So, this one you just press restart chapter, get me used to rage. Once you go on the bridge, I highlight the options menu. Then, once you're on the cutscene, press confirm back, and then you can either scroll up, confirm, or press return to map, and you'll skip the cutscene. So I'm gonna show it again. So get here. Get me storage, scroll down twice. Confirm break and uh, return to map.
I'll just give the cutscene. And the, you can do it at the end. So now we have uh, the case at cutting field, which is in my opinion the easiest one of the three uh, Minister Rich tricks. So you go here, like just before the case set, get me storage with RTM, and then you just jump in the case set and confirm. So don't do the mistake like of jumping with up and left, uh, yeah, up and left, because you see if you press up, you'll just go up in the menu and you'll just like restart locker or something. So just press with left and jump. So you come here. Go here, press on the left, and you can confirm uh, the turn to knob. And you skip like the 5 second cutscene. I never tried with 6AK sets, but there's probably a way to do it. This one is pretty quick to mention, but very useful to know. So, the first room of the mirror is way harder on the old patch. Like, as you can see, the gap are pretty tight, and here, like, you can't just go right as we do in current patch because you'll die so <laughs> it's pretty different and from here it's the same the hurts are also a bit different in this patch so there's two things with the hurts so. As you see, when you collect kids, the file time still goes, so it's faster to return to map. And as I said at the beginning, you can just press up to return to map, so as soon as you collect the and hurt, just go all the way down and get out of the chapter. The last thing I want to mention is archery room. So first, if you don't know how to do archery without a day grand demo, you just do a grand digital find buffer and upright. So, just like, don't write in the transition upright in the bubble. But the main thing is that, as you can see, the spike above me is slightly different than in current patch. So you can't dash upright after doing Archie. You really need to dash down or you'll die. So that's just a thing to not forget when you run NPR to not die like that. And that's basically it.